Good morning, Stingrays! Today is October 26th, ladies and gentlemen. It is Halloween week. Technically, Halloween is on Saturday, but just a gentle reminder. Reminder. Um, we will be having our costume day on Thursday. So, Mr. Nugent will be in costume. Um, you guys can always be on costume in, in the camera if you want to. If you don't want to, it's fine. It's optional, like, like any, you know, Halloween day would be. Um, yes, and I have selected my Halloween costume. I didn't do it the same way I did last year. Last year, I had people give me suggestions, and then from there, we voted. Um, I had one suggestion this year that was fantastic, and I think it's going to work perfectly. Uh, it only involves me making a giant costume, so... That's going to be my week. So I'm going to have to roll through all these videos. Um, so, today is obviously Monday. Uh, so first day of the week. A couple things I want to go over. We are starting a new chapter. We are heading into algebraic expressions. Okay, We're heading into algebra. That's what we're doing now. So, first thing I want to do is I want to review our buddy here, PEMDAS. Okay? You should be familiar with this. Um, if not, this is going to be a great review. Great, you know, touch up. PEMDAS. Hopefully, you know some of these steps already. Parentheses. That means anything that's within a parentheses, you have to do first in equation. So 5 plus 1 must be done first before you do minus 3. Okay, so 5 plus 1 must be 6. 6 minus 3. Even if this 3 were to be over here, you'd still have to do... 5 plus 1, and you have negative 3 plus 6. Negative 3 plus 6, 3. Okay? If you can do it, that's when you do parentheses first. What we'll start to see coming up is there are instances when you can't do the thing that's in the parentheses. Okay? So, exponents. Exponents, if you're not familiar, that means that the number has a little number attached to it. For all those that play Among Us, it's like their little pet. Okay? This is their little pet. The exponent, you think of the is the number's pet. It means to literally, this means to multiply by 2. Not multiply by 2, multiply it twice by itself. You know, if it's got a third, it means to do that three times. Okay? Sorry for my slot. And then the ones you guys have been familiar with, multiplication and division, which the only thing is, you need to know, these are interchangeable. It could be ped mass. It just doesn't sound as nice. Okay? So it's whatever comes first in the algebraic expression. So if it's 5 times 2 divided by 3, you do the one on the left first. You start left, work right when it comes to multiplication and division. Start left, work right. If these were swapped, if these were swapped, I still have to work left to right. I would do 5 divided by 2 times 3. It would be 7.5, I believe. Um, and then same thing down here for your PEMDAS, for the OS. Part. I apologize there. Those can be swapped. Those two depend on which one is first going left or right. So 4 plus 2 minus 10. 4 plus 2 is what you gotta do first because it's on the left. Minus 10. So 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 10. That would give us a negative 4. If I swap that, 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 10 would be 12. You understand? That example right there, why it's important to work left to right first. Because I didn't get the same answer those two times. First time I got negative 4, the other time I got 12. Those are different numbers because you're doing it differently. Okay? So that's a review of PEMDAS. You're going to need that stuff coming up into algebra. Okay? So that's why I reviewed it. Um, also, I want to take a little commercial break here. Do you need extra help with math? Nugent Tutor Hour. Do you need extra time to finish a quiz, test, or assignment? Nugent Tutor Hour. Do you want to listen to Mr. Nugent do after school stuff to drown out the nothingness that is quarantine? Nugent Tutor Hour. Okay, so hopefully you guys understand how the um, Nugent Tutor Hour is going to be working from now on. If not, I'll always clarify during class. But we head into today's actual lesson. Okay, I want to introduce variables to you. Uh, it's probably going to be a long video. I apologize. But, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, if you were in class, this is my favorite lesson to teach you guys who are in class. Because it's my favorite one to get you interacting with. Because if you were here, I would say, Hassan. Hassan, there you are. Hassan, can you please pick a number 1 through 10? 
That tells you. Don't say it out loud. I want you to keep it in your head. Okay? So, Hassan over there has picked a number. Okay? He's picked a number 1 through 10. We don't know what it is. It's unknown. It's the variable. Okay? It's the variable. So, Hassan's got a number in his head. He's got it locked. He doesn't want to share. I told him not to share. Keep it to yourself. Now, that's our variable. There's things we can do to the variable. Okay? So, Hassan, you've got a number. I'm going to say, Azul, your number is whatever Hassan's number is, plus 5. Okay? So, I would show that as an expression of x, the unknown, plus 5. So, Azul, your number is whatever Hassan's number is going to be, plus 5. Okay? I can keep doing this. I can do this with all types of math. Hassan, your number. Oh, let's see who's next. I did Hassan. I did Azul. Adonai, Adonai, your number is going to be Azul's, or sorry, Hassan's number, the x, the variable, minus 3. Okay, minus 3. So whatever his number is going to be, yours is minus 3. Now I want to be careful. I want to be careful there because who's next? Um, let's go with Corey. Corey, your number, let's be very careful on how we phrase this. Okay? Adonai's number is Hassan's number, the variable, the x, minus 3. The unknown, minus 3. Yours, Corey, is going to be 3 minus whatever Hassan's number is. Okay? It's very important to pay attention to that. Okay? How we phrase that. It's 3 minus x x minus 3. It's not the same thing. That's so whatever his number is going to be is now in different spots. Those are the easy ones. Let's move on. Okay. Elva, your number is going to be 5 times whatever his son says. So it is 5. Oh, I can't. What am I going to do? A little x then x. There's a couple of steps we can do here. We know that multiplication can be shown different ways. So let's show. You can do parentheses. Multiply by x, that's one way you could see it. Or, they'll just drop the parentheses. Okay, this is the same thing. Get a little arrow game going here. You've seen multiplication like this. You've seen 5 in parentheses and then another number in parentheses to resemble multiplication. You're still going to see that now. But here's the thing. Drop those parentheses. This still means multiplication. Okay, still means multiplication. Now, my last, my last person, Hassan, whatever your number is going to end up being. I hope it's good because it's going to get weird if it's not. Daisy's number, Daisy, sitting up front, Daisy. Daisy's number is your number divided by 2. Okay, so this was Daisy. Um, this was Adnan. This was uh, Azul. Forget who else. Corey, somebody else, I apologize, I forgot your name. Oh, Elva, Elva, okay? So this would be the point in which I would tell you guys to remember, remember your formula, that's gonna be, because then I'm gonna ask Hassan, Hassan, what has your number finally been? Ooh. Hassan's gonna say his number was, all right, cool, number eight, his number was eight. So, Azul, your number is eight plus five. Now that we figured out what X is, eight plus five. Azul's number is 13. Adonai, your number is 8 minus 3. Adonai, your number is 5. Elva. Elva, your number is 3 minus 8. Huh. That's going to give us negative 5. Much different than over here. Negative 5. 5. Okay? Careful. Not the same number. We just did a whole month plus of that. Okay? Understanding that those aren't the same thing. Um, who did I say was D? Daisy, your number is 8 divided by 2. So your number is 4. And lastly, Corey, your number is 40. Okay, so that is how we have to think of variables. It's an unknown number we don't know yet. As soon as we know it, as soon as they tell us, which a lot of worksheets will, they'll say that r equals 2 and m equals 5. That's what we're going to end up doing. Today I have an interactive worksheet. I have an interactive slide we're going to do in small groups. Um, you also have IXLs to do as well. I just have to stop talking and get a lot of editing done. So I'm going to go... Um, Sorry, I didn't check if there's any birthdays today. I think there might be. Let me run. Whoop! Daniela. Happy birthday yesterday, Daniela. All right, guys.